Be aware of useless information providers that scatter. How do you know if they are dividing people? Ask yourself, are they creating harmony or discord? Is the reporting making a difference for good or is it creating strife and violence? If you've trusted a source of information for a long time, it may be difficult for you to perceive falsehood if it arises. This is when your inheritance in Christ is needed. You may be wondering what is your inheritance? It is anything Christ died for that you might receive. You better believe useful information is your heritage, and here's what I mean. God can give you insight that goes beyond a situation before, after, and while it is unfolding, like an inside scoop. Usually one has to go searching for it in prayer, then God has a major responsibility to fulfill what you act upon. James 2 verse 17 so also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. I think we can say then that faith with action brings life. It's really fascinating and supernatural to look at something or be in a situation where everything engages your five senses, yet it is not the reality God has shown you. We have the ability through Christ to adhere to what's intellectually being directed by Holy Spirit despite our surrounding situation. In order to understand why, let's have a look at what Jesus said to the Father about his followers. John 17 verses 15 through 19. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world, and for their sake I consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. We have access to truth, therefore we need discernment, especially from sub-informers that collaborate with useless information providers. They could be professionals and experts in any field that give advice and spread falsity that is rooted in fear. Remember. No one is above God and His truth. Check out His warnings about people like this. Colossians 2 verse 8 Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Matthew 7 verse 15 Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. Ephesians 5 verse 6 Let no one deceive you with empty talk, for it is because of these things that God's judgment is coming on those who disobey him. As long as the evil one is among us, deception will coexist. We must know the truth so that we are not robbed of what is most valuable to us. 1 John 4 verse 6 We who teach God's word are from God, energized by Holy Spirit, and whoever knows God through personal experience listens to us and has a deeper understanding of Him. Whoever is not of God does not listen to us. By this we know, without any doubt, the spirit of truth, motivated by God, and the spirit of error, motivated by Satan.